It's the Gig Doctor Dane Scott top rated fiver seller along with my trusty sidekick, Furvy. That's right. Yep. Talent tends to run in families, but can multiple family members under the same roof sell their talents on Fiverr? The answer may surprise you. It's coming up. The Gig Doctor. Let me suggest you stick through to the end on this one. Take the long haul approach. Don't drop it in midstream because this all kind of ties together today. Not only that, but I've got a Fiverr freebie at the end for you. It's a tool I just give away uh, that can really help fire things up on Fiverr for you. Let me also take a moment to thank everybody who's enlisting in the Gig Doctor ranks here. It's great to have you all. I joined, and now I'm all the way up to private first class. Good job, Furvy. And it's all in the family today. You've got multiple talented people under the same roof. Well, what shape can that take on Fiverr? How can mom, pop, and the kids all offer their skills on Fiverr and still stay within the rules? I come from a musical family. It seems like pretty much everybody, going back over the generations I'm aware of, they all played an instrument, one kind or another. And on my wife's side, she sings, her mom sings, her sister sings, auditioned for the Metropolitan Opera, by the same token, both my grandmother and my dad were skilled artists. Now, I don't paint, but I do do some gig image design and some graphical layouts, so at least there's a little bit of blood there. And my daughter, uh, it's kind of skipped over me, really. She's, she's quite talented in the area of graphic design. It's pretty amazing how often talent is passed down. I wouldn't be surprised to hear you say that the same is true at your house, at least to a degree. Not only that, but if you have had a particular talent, you may have even met your spouse through something related to your profession or to that talent. Maybe uh, you met uh, him or her while acting at a local community theater, for example. You might share similar skills that way. And by the same token, there are also talents that emerge in certain people that don't seem to have any kind of inherited thing at all. I, I've always been kind of uh, leaning toward acting. I've got instincts in that area. And I took to writing uh, and performing arts in a way that really nobody else in my family did that I know of. Uh, so where did that come from? No idea. The point is this. Among you, your spouse, your offspring, there are probably some talents you share, including at least one that's good enough or is getting close to being good enough to sell as a service. And you may also have one or more living under your roof whose talents are completely unique from any of the rest of you. So where does this all fit in in the subject of offering services on Fiverr? Well, usually it's a single family member that starts the whole process up. If, if it has begun at your house, that's probably how it started. Uh, you know, maybe they started offering their services there and they had some success. And ah, that piqued the interest of other family members who thought, well, if he or she can do it, so can I. Well, before it goes further, there are a couple of things that you need to know about how Fiverr's terms of service work, so you don't get yourself in trouble or even get dumped from the platform. I'm going to explain what the rules are first, and then I'll tell you what you can do to make things work and allow more than one of you to make some money on the platform. I'm going to show you an actual communication, too, from Fiverr that lays everything out nicely. Feed me! First, let me take 10 seconds here to feed Furby who's always starving for your comments. In the comments today, please tell me about your talented brood. You don't have to mention names. Just, you know, give us some general information. Uh, is more than one person at your house offering their services on Fiverr already? Comment below. The short answer to the question, can multiple family members under the same roof offer their services on Fiverr is yes. But Fiverr does have some safeguards in place. And those safeguards are really to protect Fiverr, to make sure that a single person isn't just like creating multiple accounts under different names. So everything related to same household rules tend to be kind of to head off that sort of thing. I'll spell that out in a moment. Fiverr is pretty smart. Uh, their computer can detect when multiple accounts are being maintained from the same internet address, yours. Your router has a place in cyberspace. And uh, they can also detect 
when multiple accounts are being accessed from the same web browser, because each browser has an ID, kind of like a car license plate. If Fiverr sees that more than one account is being maintained from the same place in cyberspace or from the same web browser, it will be noticed. So far, no rules have been violated, though, but Fiverr will have perked up its ears. All right, that doesn't necessarily mean trouble. The fact is that Fiverr allows more than one account to be accessed from the same location, even from the same web browser. Where they draw the line is in what each account is offering. Fiverr is cool with the family approach, as long as each account offers a different kind of service. So you can have one account that offers singing, another one that offers writing, another that offers video production, another that offers uh, voiceovers like I do. If Fiverr sees different types of services all being offered on different accounts, even if they come from the same location, that's totally fine. Now, here are the things you need to be sure about, though. The first one is this. You will need to give each family member who does have their own Fiverr account their own PayPal or Payoneer account, too, with its own unique email address. That's not hard to do, but it is a step that you can't skip. You need a separate withdrawal provider for each person, or a provider account, I should say. Something that some people do to help bolster the statistics is to buy from each other for no other reason than to jack up their numbers and help them perform better in Fiverr search. These gig order exchanges are a no-no. So when people propose doing that, uh, say no. <laughs> say no, no. Uh, by the same token, for the same reason, people living under the same roof can't do that either. It violates the terms of service and it can get you bumped. So uh, avoid that. What you might be saying at this point, though, is this. Okay, in our family, several of us do have the same talent. Two of us sing. Three of us do. Uh, since each Fiverr account is coming from the same location and they have to offer a different kind of service, doesn't that kind of leave some of us out in the cold? Well, fortunately, the answer is no. There's nothing that says that a husband and wife can't offer a gig together, for example. Let's say you're a singer and your wife is too. Well, you can offer your services under the same account together in a single gig, offering duets or doing multi-tracking, many voices, the whole family singing uh, radio jingles. And you can also offer female singing and male singing separately in their own gigs on that same Fiverr account as well. Let's use another example. Uh, let's say you have a gig set up in your Fiverr account that, uh, that offers uh, on-hold messages with music. The on-hold message loop is a combination of messages that are read alternately by a male and then a female, a male and a female with music underneath. Totally acceptable. You can also offer multiple categories in the same account, in the same account we're saying here. I, for example, offer both voiceover services and voiceover coaching. Well, by the same token, who's to say that you couldn't offer a voiceover coaching service that gives the buyer a choice of either a male coach or a female coach? So you have multiple services within the same account, which can, depending on how it's presented, all be a part of what you as kind of the account owner are offering the buyers. So that really gives you a lot of flexibility to involve members of the family with the same talents in a single account. And what about that black sheep of the family, the one that can't sing? That would be me, you know. But maybe they can beat the pants off all of you in creating fabulous logos. Well, they can have their own account. Now, to help set some of this up, we want to put it on a solid footing so you feel confident that I'm not just kind of blowing hot air here. Uh, let me read something that was actually it was sent by Fiverr Customer Service to a Fiverr seller. Uh, and some of this is in, you know, in context with what had been written to them. I understand that you would like to know if your daughters can offer services different from your and your wife's. I will be glad to clarify our policies on this. In certain circumstances, it is acceptable to have more than one account at one location and to use the same laptop device for delivering different services via our platform. For example, an account for each family member. However, you and your daughter's accounts must abide by our terms of service. The most important rules to take note of in this situation are, one, the accounts cannot sell similar services, which you have already pointed out indirectly. Two, the accounts cannot purchase from one another. We talked about that. And three, the accounts cannot share a withdrawal provider, PayPal, Payoneer, which you and your daughters seem to have already been acquainted with, they say. 
In other words, the same method is fine. For example, all of them could be on PayPal. All of them could be on Payoneer. But they each need to have their own account if it's a separate fiber account that's being set up. So just to kind of conclude this, just remember, each member of the family with their own account needs to offer a service that is different from what other family members' accounts are offering. And if more than one person in the family shares the same talent, bundle your services in a single account for that kind of talent. And if you do have more than one Fiverr account, give each one its own withdrawal account. They can all be with the same agency like PayPal, but each needs to be a separate account with its own email address. Keep to those principles and uh, you'll all be able to have some fun earning money on Fiverr. Well, I promised you something free today, and here it is. The Gig Tracker Spreadsheet is a fantastic resource that costs nothing. And if you consistently use it to track your gig performance numbers, uh, you will be able to tell just where things are at and know just where and when to make changes to improve the performance of your gig. So just grab it and use it. I've got the link in the show notes below. Uh, comment, please. Uh, subscribe. Hit the bell and uh, follow us from uh, week to week here and from session to session. If you'd like personal help with your Fiverr gig, contact me and uh, we can get together and do a really fun gig doctor session together. Uh, some people say it's like drinking from a fire hose. Lots of information can make a world of difference. That's it. I'm Dane Scott. Later. You give me a call. Hello. Hello. Hello, I think. Hello, cutie pie. Until I heard the voice, I'd never done a crazy thing in my whole life. Goodbye. Thank you.